Indeed, we will be expecting you to uh, to report back and we'll be keeping in close touch. But there is another issue, one uh, which has also gripped attention uh, 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 in uh, Britain and around the world, and that is uh, what is happening with uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson's government. Uh, I believe uh, yesterday evening, uh, it was the, the count of resignations was 38, uh, comprising of ministers, junior ministers, senior aides, and all of that. Uh, what, what's happening this morning, and how, uh, how was his appearance uh, in the House of Commons yesterday viewed by, uh, by the public and the political elite? Well, unprecedented and extraordinary are terms that we've been using uh, to describe Boris Johnson's tenure over the past couple of years. But truly, those are the only terms I can use to describe what's been happening over the past 24 hours. You mentioned 38. I think you'll have to add an extra 12 ministers to that. Uh, the last time I checked, there were about 50 uh, ministerial resignations, including, and this is really crucial, uh, the Welsh Secretary and the Northern Ireland Secretary. Brandon Lewis. They have both handed in their resignations this morning. Um, we talk about the House of Commons, but let's fast forward to the Parliamentary Liaison Committee, where Prime Minister Boris Johnson had a grueling two-hour session. And I've got to tell you, Laddie, at times it was really uncomfortable to watch. You know, you're talking about uh, who was once a political titan, an 80-seat majority being ripped to shreds um, for 24 hours on British TV. And Laddie, you know better than me just how brutal uh, this British media can be. But the Prime Minister is not going to be moved. He has refused to resign, even whilst he was in that liaison committee session. Um, some of the uh, cross-party MPs who were around the horseshoe were updating him on resignations via Twitter. They were saying, look, Prime Minister, when you get out of this building, you have your loyalists, your cabinet ministers, including the Chancellor, who was just appointed a few hours earlier waiting for you at number 10 Downing Street telling you you must resign and what happened the Prime Minister didn't resign number 10 is locked shut he wants to get on um, with trying to sort out the issues that are affecting the country one of them being we're going through the worst cost of living crisis um, in a generation and supposedly he will be doing a joint statement with the new Chancellor Nadine Zahawi later today uh, but then overnight we've had these um, serious uh, ministerial resignations. Now, one of the delegations who, one of the members of the delegations who were waiting at number 10 to ask the Prime Minister to do the right thing and resign was the Home Secretary Priti Patel. She hasn't resigned just yet and people are saying she cannot resign because it will be a national um, state of emergency. How can the Home Secretary resign? The, the Northern Ireland Secretary resign? Who is going to make sure the I's are, are, are dotted and the T's are crossed when it comes to MI5 and MI6. These are really crucial questions. At the moment, there is no functioning government in the United Kingdom. I was speaking on the world today, yesterday, with Tenny, and I did say I have never felt this level of political anxiety or a political vacuum in the country uh, since the result of the Brexit referendum in 2016. That's how tense it is. And unfortunately for the Prime Minister, Britain is a laughing uh, joke at the moment. And just very quickly, uh, Laddie, uh, the Minister of Court has also resigned. So if the Minister of Courts has also resigned, how does this fare with the Aquera Madu case today, particularly as it's so diplomatically sensitive? There's so much there, Juliana. I, 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 as I listen to you, uh, the word unprecedented comes to mind. But then Boris Johnson uh, doesn't appear to be the kind of man who came this far in his political yeah. career yeah. by folding and leaving, but just because uh, people said he should. Uh, he's very, uh, he's, he's very thick-skinned, and uh, we'll just have to see how this plays out. But we'll stay in touch with you uh, all through the course of the day for updates, particularly on the Senator A.K. Kweramadu case and uh, the possible outcome. Will he be coming back to face trial in Nigeria, or will he be staying back in the United Kingdom? And then, of course, the other things relating to Prime Minister uh, Boris Johnson. So a busy day ahead, it looks uh, like for you, Juliana, but you're used to it. Thank you for your time this morning.